Okay, so welcome to Math Story, ah. and let's have this topic. So finding the derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. So we have this given y equals arc sine 4x. And these are the different formulas to find the derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. So for this given, u is equal to 4x. And for the derivative of u or the derivative of 4x, that's 4. So du is equal to 4. So to find out the derivative of this arc sign using this formula, so we have y prime equals du. So du is 4. Then over the square root of 1 minus u squared. So we have the square root of 1 minus u squared, so that's 4x then to the power 2. Then simplify, so we have 4 then over square root of 1 minus, so this 4x to the power 2, that's 16x to the power 2. So this is now the derivative of this arc sine 4x. Then for this given, so u is equal to 3x. And for the derivative of u, so the derivative of 3x, that's 3. So to find out the derivative of this arctan 3x, so using this formula for the arctan u, so we have y prime equals du, so du is 3, then over 1 plus u squared, so 1 plus u squared, that's 3x, then to the power 2. Then to simplify, so we have 3 over 1 plus this 3x squared is equal to 9, then x to the power 2. So this is now the derivative of this inverse tangent 3x. Then for this given, so u is equal to 1 plus 4x. And for the derivative of u, so since the derivative of a constant is 0, and the derivative of 4x, that's 4. So to find out the derivative of this r cosine, so for r cosine u, that's negative du over the square root of 1 minus u squared. So we have negative then du, so du is 4, then over the square root of 1 minus u squared, so we have 1 plus 4x then to the power 2. Then to simplify, so we have negative uh, 4 then over 1 then minus, so we need to expand this 1 plus 4x to the power 2. So since this uh, 1 plus 4x to the power 2, so using this method, the SMS, so we have the square of the first term, so the square of 1, that's 1. Then multiply, so we have 2 times 4, that's 8x, and 8x times 1, that's positive, 8x. Then the square of the second term, so the square of 4x, that's positive, 16 x squared. So this 1 plus 4x quantity to the power 2 is equal to 1 plus 8x plus 16x squared. So we have 1 plus 8x plus 16x squared. Then simplify, so we have negative 4 over, so the square root of 1, then distribute this negative, so we have negative 1, negative 8x, and negative 16x squared. Then simplify, so we have y prime equals negative 4, then over, so combine like terms, so this positive 1 minus 1, this one is 0, so we have now negative 8x minus 16x squared. Then since we can factor out positive 4 from 8 and 16, so we have y prime equals negative 4 then over. So factor out positive 4, so this negative 8x divided by 4, this one is negative 2, 
and then minus 16 divided by 4, that's 4, then x squared. Then simplify, so we have negative 4, then over, so square root of 4, that's 2, then times the square root, negative 2x, minus 4x, then to the power 2. Then simplify, so we have y prime equals negative then this 4 divided by 2, this one is 2, so we have 2, then over the square root of negative 2x minus 4x to the power 2. So this is now the derivative of this inverse cosine quantity 1 plus 4x. Then for this given, so we're going to use the chain rule that u to the power n is equal to n times u to the power n minus 1 times the derivative of u. So since we can rewrite this given as arctan x to the power 3, then to the power 2, so this is n, so to find out the derivative, so we have 2 times arctan x to the power 3, so minus 1 for the exponent that becomes 1 then the derivative of u so the derivative of arctan x to the power 3 so since the derivative of arctan is du over 1 plus u to the power 2 so du is the derivative of x to the power 3 so since the derivative of x to the power 3 is 3x to the power 2 then over 1 plus u squared or this x to the power 3 then to the power 2. Then we have now y equals, so we have 2 times 3, this one is 6x squared then over 1 plus this x to the power 3 to the power 2. So you need to multiply these exponents, so 2 times 3, so x to the power 6, then this arctan x to the power 3. So this is now the derivative of this inverse tangent. Then for this given, so using the product rule, so this is u and this is v, so u times v is equal to v times the derivative of u, plus u times the derivative of v. So for this given, u is equal to x squared, and the derivative of u, this one is 2x. Then for b, so v is arc sine x, and for the derivative of v, so since the derivative of arc sine is du over square root of 1 minus u squared. So du, that's the derivative of x. So the derivative of x, this one is 1, then over the square root of 1, then minus u squared or x squared. Then solve now for the derivative using this formula. So we have y prime equals v. So v is arc sine x times the derivative of u, so the derivative of u, that's 2x, then plus u, u is x squared times the derivative of v, so the derivative of v, that's 1, then over square root of 1 minus x squared. Then simplify, so we have y prime, so this one is 2x, then arc sine x, then plus, so this one is x squared, then over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So this is now the derivative of this inverse sine.